My mission is to convince you that your end users are going to love and desire Windows 10. It's about Windows delivered as a service. The core vision behind more personal computing is about the notion that what matters most is the mobility of the human experience across the devices. We need to make it easy for those users to move from Windows 7 or Windows XP or Windows 8 or, and come to Windows 10 and immediately be productive. Hello. In this video, I would like to share a di dilemma I have with, uh, with Windows 10 and trying to use it as a daily driver. Um, in front of you, you see two Surface Pro devices. On the right is running Windows 8 and on the left is running Windows 10. Um, what I regularly do is uh, when I watch a video, I have a note taking app um, on the side uh, to take uh, notes, but um, I also enjoy watching videos full screen uh, in a multitask view where two apps are snapped side by side. Now the wonderful thing about Windows 8 is, uh, is that it has a feature where if you uh, watch a video uh, full uh, screen, for example, this is, a, uh, this is a YouTube with a video running in the browser and when I go to uh, full screen you will see I can keep watching the video uh, let's go back I can watch the video full screen distraction free while taking uh, notes uh, on the right side with Windows 10 however where uh, Edge is new browser yes of course they have Internet Explorer 11 but my intention was uh, with getting used to Windows 10 as my daily driver, I wanted to use Edge as much as possible. You have the behavior where when you play a video uh, from the YouTube website and you want to go uh, full screen, and one snap to, it will instead have the automatic behavior, even though two apps snap side by side, to go full screen without me being able to Re, uh, resize the, the app to fit a snapped uh, view. I can only, the only thing I can do is uh, go back by pressing escape and perhaps choosing a larger video size, but I'll never get the full distraction free uh, uh, view of the, um, of the video. Now it is not per se a deal breaker, but I do notice as you can see on the right, that uh, uh, that it does have a more cleaner experience and a distraction free experience and that's what you want you want to focus on the video and take notes and not to be distracted by uh, by comments or links to other videos but purely on the video it's itself um, and i notice it's not uh, purely limited to one app when i go to another app on windows 8 while still a snapped view um, this is not the right one for example uh, this uh, third party uh, video player you can see it is also full screen and the same remains here so when i we snap this just a second windows 10 is sometimes still still a bit buggy so I am in tablet mode and should snap, but for some reason it doesn't. Let's see, let's take another one. This also won't snap. Let's take this one, one. And let's take uh, this third party app and let's now go to another third party app. A third party YouTube uh, client and we'll play a video here this automatically goes to full screen and if i play here and go to full screen it also goes to full screen and snapped uh, view as you can see and that might surprise it's worked pretty well i'm gonna go ahead and just jump 
Uh, and when I finally take another third party client and I snap it, somehow there's an issue with snapping. Uh, come on, please snap. Okay, so just crashed. Let's get back for a second. Okay, maybe it works now. Yeah, now it works. Okay. And I'll get the same client. Let's see here. And I play video here and here. The exact same third party YouTube client. Okay, everyone, I want to quickly show you guys. Uh, you can see the that they are both. Or uh, into sports or biking. Almost. <coughs> you can see they're both uh, playing. And when a Windows 8, I snap. To uh, full screen, it snaps within uh, within the snapped boundary window. And when I go here, you can see it goes uh, full uh, full screen. As you can see, and um, the same issue is when you take tablet mode off and you snap it uh, the way you do by snapping Windows two side by uh, side. Um, and the confusing part is what I would like to do is I want to provide uh, feedback that I would like to have uh, the snapped full screen mode available as uh, an option or need or at least a comeback or uh, or need or at least that the behavior is um, from Windows 8 is coming back to Windows 10. The only thing I cannot figure out is if this behavior is an operating system behavior or if it is a behavior that is related to the app itself so uh, if i want to provide feedback should i do it via the feedback app or um, the user voice uh, um, uh, website to provide the information or should i direct the feedback to the developer so what do you think do you think this is a behavior that that is part or should be part of the developer feedback or do you think it's part of the OS feedback? I would like to hear your opinion of this um, and also what, what your use case is. If you look at this concrete example, do you think that this is a bug or do you think that this is uh, an issue too for you? Um, I'm curious how you use uh, snapped view uh, on a daily uh, basis. So please leave a comment and uh, I thank you for watching. Bye bye.